Hey everybody, it's Miss Tracy of Read to Me Miss Tracy. I'm here to read another story to you to bring another book to life for you and I'm super excited. I've gone to my local library just like you can and I checked out a couple of books and I hope you'll you'll enjoy reading them as much as I do and tell your friends about them. Bring your friends to watch Read to Me Miss Tracy and do the same thing or go to your library and get a book as well and read to your friends or your family, mom and dad, somebody. So today, let's get right to this book. We're going to read the book, One Word from Sophia. It's written by Jim Averbeck and Yasmeen Ismail. I can't wait to read this book. I love it. It's so cute. Look at it. Isn't she cute? That's Miss Sophia. And wait, what is this? It looks like a little giraffe as well. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, here we go. One Word from Sophia. Sophia's birthday was coming up, and she had five things on her mind. One true desire and four problems. Her one true desire was to get a pet giraffe for her birthday. A pet giraffe? I mean, I wanted some funny things for my birthday, but a pet giraffe? No way. It's Sophia's world. The four problems were... Mother, who was a judge. Father, who was a businessman. Uncle Conrad, who was a politician. And Grandmama, who was very, very strict. Sophia presented her case to Mother. I will like a giraffe, she said because they burn less gasoline, so they meet federal regulations better than the cars we use now. In the last 50 years, no giraffes have ever been recalled for defective parts. She and, and newer models have a particularly strong safety record. Good argument. Also, giraffes have not been shown to be the best case to be the cause of any major diseases. Giraffes are legal in 50 states. And <clears throat> a giraffe could take me to ballet class and deliver me right to the second floor. Hmm. Well, I think that's a worthy argument. Let's see what mom says. Her argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that included a map of the walk to class. Make sure you guys can see the map. Mm hmm I'm sorry, said Mother in her decision, but I will have to rule against a giraffe at this time. You provided no proof that you are ready for pet ownership and failed to cite any laws about minors thriving quadrupeds. And your argument was too verbose. Hmm. Verbose, said Sophia. Asked Sophia, what does that mean? Too many words, said Mother. How many should I use? Fewer, said Mother, and retired to her chambers. Hmm. So, Sophia used fewer words with Father. Giraffes, said Sophia, are a good source of manure which can be sold at a profit to garden centers and activists. In short, people will pay me for poop. Ching, ching. <laughs> hey, did you see the giraffe plop? <laughs> Plopping right in the basket of no loud. Okay. <laughs> Her proposal was accompanied by a compelling graph showing how much money she would make. I'm sorry, said Father, but your business plan is unsound. You failed to account for the cost of care and feeding for your manure product, not to mention the warehousing of poop. And your presentation was far too effusive. Effusive, asked Sophia. What's that mean? Too many words, said Father. How many should I use? Fewer, said Father, and he got back to his conference call. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, well, another, that's the second problem that she encountered. Hmm. So, Sophia polled the other members of the household. 
looks like there's Buddy, there's Bear, Horse, you know, a few other members of the household. There's Kitty. Uh, looks like she's doing a little poll. She's got her little poll here. She's, you know, conferring with how people that should think. All right, so let's see. And presented the results to Uncle Conrad. Four out of five respondents are in favor of giraffes, she said. Looks like Mr. Bunny was strongly agreed. Tiger eye for ballerinas. Ballerinas should have should ride giraffes to school was her the, her presentation and her poll. Pony boy said he disagrees because he would obviously like to you know give her a ride to school. And then Snakey Poo agrees. Ted somewhat agrees. So let's see what Uncle Conrad has to say about this. The results were accompanied by a compelling pie chart. Oh, wow, she did a nice job. She colored inside the lines and everything. Hmm. I'm sorry, said Uncle Conrad, but your results indicate that being in favor of a giraffe ownership would cost me support from the pony American community. And besides, your report was far too loquacious. Sophia didn't even need to ask. Finally, she approached Grandmama. She accompanied her plea with a compelling foot rub. Oh, yeah. Grandmamas love those foot rubs. Let's see what she had to say. Giraffe, no, said Grandmama, and do try to get to the point next time. Yee, even after getting Grandma's feet, still getting no love. <laughs> In a last desperate attempt before her birthday, Sophia prepared to speak to everyone at once. She revised and shortened her proposition until it was just one word. Hmm, doing a lot of work there. Lots of artwork and graphs and things like that. Nice, nice job so far. So, so devising a plan. She's not giving up. She's very determined. Please! Asking everybody, all of her four problems, standing there in front of her. One powerful word. Please. Hmm. The proposal was accompanied by a particularly compelling pair of eyes. Looking directly at them. On her birthday, Sophia was delighted to find that short and sweet often brings results. <gasps> it's her birthday, look, looks like a giraffe. One word really worked, she said. Aw, it was the please word. And two words came in handy as well. Uh-huh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Those two words mean a lot. Please and thank you. Very good. And look, she's on her way to school, riding on top of her giraffe. <laughs> Excellent book and some very big words that were used in this book. The effusive, loquacious. What was the other one that we learned? Verbose. Sometimes Miss Tracy is verbose too. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm using words that I learned in books that I can get from free at your library right there in your neighborhood. I bet there's one. And if not, you can definitely make sure they come to you at school in the bookmobiles. Those are fun too. Check out a book today. And oh, for sure, be sure to like the show. Read to me, Miss Tracy, and then share it with your friends. Check out some of the books that we're reading and then open up a whole new world for yourself. It's been a fun for time for me. Hope it's been for you. It's time to say goodbye now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.